What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are in Longwood, Florida at Acme Collectibles. And guys, this is probably the biggest collectible store I've I've ever been to so far. Now I have been to a lot of toy stores in my time. Um, I will say Acme Collectibles is definitely the biggest and probably most overwhelming store that I've been to. Um, they not only have action figures, but they have comics, they have statues, they have, they have it all. It's pretty impressive. But before we get to Acme, we have a word from our sponsor. Super Impulse sent us these 3.75 South Park action figures. So Dave, take it away. All right, and here we have them. The South Park Super Impulse 3.75 action figures depicting Carmen, Kenny, Stan, and Kyle. All of them rocking an awesome set of pajamas. We're gonna get these things out of the package and show you what they look like up close and personal. But real quick, before we break these guys out of the packaging, let's take a look at the back because the back has these dotted lines that you're gonna wanna be careful with while opening because you could bust these out, set them up in the figure stands and you have yourself a diorama. All right, and here we go. They are broken free from their packaging and they look awesome. I think you get a lot of bang for your buck. The figures are beefy, they're big. Here's Cartman right there in his pajamas. We have Kyle, we have Stan. All of the colors are just popping right off of these figures. And honestly, I think they're a must have if you're a South Park collector. Because if you take a look at the history of South Park collectibles, the prices only go up. They never go back down. These, I don't think are gonna be an exception. So if you're on the fence about them, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and snag them up. Make sure you go to kidrobot.com check out Super Impulse because they are killing the game when it comes to this stuff, whether it's plushes, vinyl figures, or like these 3.75 action figures that we got right here. Real quick, let's cut to checking out one of these guys with one of Kid Robot's mystery vinyl figures so you could see the size comparison. All right, let's go. And here we have Stan and Mr. Slave. So Mr. Slave and Lemmy Winks over here are from the 2011 Kid Robot mystery minis. And again, this just shows the size difference between the new Super Impulse action figures that we're getting for South Park. Both amazing, both must-haves for your collection if you guys love South Park. So these are awesome, but I think it's time we get back to that hunt. Let's go! This place is massive. I thought it was a shopping center. The entire store is the shopping center. <laughs> um, but there's rows and rows and just filled with toys. So like right here, let me show you. There's just Joe's, all Joe's. We got classifieds over here. Some of the 25th. We got some more Joe's. Just layers, the layers guys will pull out. Got vehicles. Then here's just an, another like G.I. Joe cabinets. Some vehicles right there. And then here we got some of the vintage. Vintage action figures. It's crazy. Check that out though. It's massive. I'm a little blown away because I didn't think it was going to be like this big. But she had Joe's for days, guys. Four days. And here's another room. Got a bunch of books. And more action figures, guys. This is crazy. Head to tell. Look at that! Got some Barnyard Commandos right there. McFarlane, Chris Spread. Got the premium DNA. Um, Mad Balls. And then it just wraps into here. Look at that big old turtle. Look at that big old raft. Crazy. Got this alien. That's crazy. 
ET. It just goes on for days, guys. And over here, you got the symptoms. In this case, look at that, that's cool. And then you got, I guess, symptoms like meets, meets wrestlers. Look at all those wrestlers. Back here. WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. All these wrestling figures are on this side. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Just entire case of wrestling figures. And then this side you got <laughs> Quickie Mart, you got all Simpsons. And then this side's all wrestling. It goes on and on. Look how far, guys. Bucks Bunny create a scene figure. That's cool. All right, Gab, what do you think about the story? Dude, I don't even like toys. <laughs> yeah. this, place, this place is sick. It's crazy, right? Like, I think they have reasonable prices. It's probably the biggest toy, like, like, like toy I, store. It's kind of dangerous being in here. Yeah. I don't even like toys. Yeah. I'm more of a game guy. Yeah. But this is crazy. What do you got right there? This, you bought it for me at Trader's Village <laughs> like years ago. <laughs> it's the exact one. That's cool. It's freaking cool. But yeah, DC, cool. Marvel, all yeah, that. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. There's just this so much. Yeah. Did you go in that room yet? No. It's nice. Got all the Palisades like Muppets up here. Go, Rainbow. And over here we got Muppets. The Fickies. There's the Labs. It's a hard one to find. We got some Toy Story stuff over here. We got Alice in Wonderland, Super 7. We got some Tron. We got Teddy Rock Spin, Grubby. And back here is all like My Little Ponies, some uh, Warner Brothers stuff. We got the Wrangler right there hanging out. But these cases are just like jam packed. This is crazy. There's some more Muppet stuff over here. Disney, of course. Wow. Disney, Disney. More Toy Story like Disney figures. Just for days. Got some starting lineups. Look at that deck. That's cool. Got a punch. And look how big this hall is. Jeez, my knees. Look at all these uh, DC figures. Man. We got this over here. And then superpowers. And then we get the Hall of Justice right here. That's cool. I'm gonna miss so much because it's just so much to look at. Down here, you got the lantern. The lanterns. You got like icons and all kinds of stuff. Look at that Batmobile. That's cool. Let me get more DC over here. It's all filled. Then we got some of the vintage Star Wars over here in this section. Check them all out. Pretty good prices. $22 for a complete uh, Chewbacca. $22 for a, um, a Vader with cape. You got a bunch of Ewoks down here. Check them out. Got some credit figures in the back. Not bad. You got the job of the, uh, the dungeon right here. 50 for a complete boba seems pretty good. <coughs> and this dude's with the dungeon. Check it out. Yes, more down here. Man, 
the Stores podcast. This is insane. I just the Jedi right now. Get my thing. Just got so much to choose from. Chewbacca's belt. Some of the Atari games down here. Chewbacca mask. Little Cooper. Then up here you got some of the, uh, the modern Star Wars figures. And this whole entire row, guys, is all Star Wars. This store literally has like oh, everything. Yes. Check this uh, out. How cool that is. Yeah, they had the Viper or something. Get all of these. Man, they got that wicked uh, board game right there. Very cool. Some of these are signed too. Here we go. Check it out. Got some vehicles, some plushies. Down over here. And behind us is like Star Wars, like pops. And then this is all. Jeez, guys. Bunch of Siths. You just got all these figures, guys. Insane. And the prices, like I said, are really good. And this is definitely worth the trip if you're anywhere in Florida. This is this is worth coming to, 100%. Luckily for us, uh, today's a Sunday, so this was like one of the only stores open. <laughs> so we're like, well, I guess we're going here, and uh, I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. But look at all this. Look at that chewy right there. That's cool. So much. And then getting the Black Series over here. Check this all out. They got it all, man. They got it all. So, seeing some pretty rare Black Series figures. Some common ones, some rare ones. But yeah. Very cool. And then you get these uh, little Star Wars heroes, guys. And then just little, like, oh, there's that little Wookiee we'll place in. That's cool. Check these out on different lines. And then the Disney ones. All down there. Oh, this is cool. This is from uh, episode two. Very cool. Display is not for sale. Oh, look at this indoor. Look at that. Wow. Somebody did an amazing job on that. Look at the little indoor outpost right here. So sick. Look at this cantina. Love it. Very cool. And then down here, man. If you, yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, guys, like this is this is a hit. Even like traveling like out of state, like this is worth it. Then look at all the helmies. <coughs> Very cool. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> And then back here, a bunch of the modern like card figures, but it's just like from bottom to top. It's loaded. It is loaded. Continuing down here, into the Sith. And it's just like, it goes on for days, guys. Get some of those up there. But yeah, look at all this, guys. Freaking love it. You got some of the 
Look at that. Look above that. The Starship. Hyper Rail Luke. That's a cool one. We got the 90s line, like up here. Just helmets for days up there. But I'm pretty sure this is like the sci fi and the horror um, aisle. You guys, what I'm seeing already. It's trouble. It's trouble. Up here, you got your ET. Up here, I see some Beetlejuice back there. That's cool. Inferring room. <laughs> and then down here. Look, you got the Barbie Corvette. Wow. Some more Gremlins down here. Jackson, I'm so then you got Avatar figs on this row. And then you got more stuff over here. And then we got some Chucky action over here. Good guy's hammer. That's cool. Universal monsters. And Visible Man Kid. Got some trick or treat. Got some Sam action going on right there. Some Toonie Tears. Got more stuff over here. Universals. Got some plushies. Got some uh, aliens and predators on this bottom row. And over here, it's just kind of make sure you got. Uh, we got. Well, no, this is Stranger Things. And we got Matrix. And then we got like Pennywise, we got Ben 10. That's interesting, Ben 10 right there. Okay, so if you're into Ben 10, guys, I got you covered. Got some movie maniacs over here. That's cool. Then we got some Jurassic Park. Or JP right here. Some dinos. And JP for days. And look at all those freaking dinosaurs, guys. Jeez. They got you covered on dinos. Just got a ton. A ton of them. Tons of dinos. And this up here got some kids. Got the dude. The dude that bites. We got some like uh, more beetles, yellow submarine, home alone, but look, got a D and D figgy right there. Got Wayne and Garth. Just random figures. Got John Bougie right there. Just very random. Like shelf right here. Which triumph. Comment dog. Look at this big trouble in World China. Carrie. So we some Star Trek. We got monsters. On chill stuff. Alright guys, so like I was saying earlier, like this place literally has everything. Um but I, I'm working on my last aisle. And I was like, you know, the stuff that I'm like collecting right now, I didn't see any. I was like, oh, that's, a, that's a bummer. But we found them, guys. Check out these cabinets. Here we go. So the next like five glass cabinets, guys, is all the stuff that um, I've kind of been collecting lately, minus the micro machines check out we got some exo squad over here that one comes with its box 30 and the prices are like really really good like really super super good and then look starios check it out and this is 80 dollars guys i mean I'm, i know it's missing pieces but it's like I'm flying home. I might have to buy a suitcase just to get that. I don't I don't know yet. But there's just so much. And down here. Look at all these Z bots. Z bots everywhere. 
Then you got that zebra heads right there. Check it out, this is crazy. It's just packed. Down here you got Mighty Max. You got Police Academy. Incomplete as it is. Look at all of this. Is. And we got some, a little bit of everything up here. We got Inhumanoids. We got Brave Star. We got some Earthworm Jim. Dino Riders. <laughs> There's Coco and Tanya, and there was a crash. Look at all these. There's a golden crash over there by the speed racer. D and D, right there. Did I just got this guy? The last store for. I think I got him for forty. But he has two of his accessories. Then we got uh, A team and then Ghostbusters. How you guys doing? Good. How you doing? And then here's the uh, Masters of the Universe. So here's the case. Mosquito. You know, right there. 50 bucks for a loose mosquito is not bad. Very, very clean of babies. We got all sorts to choose from, a very good selection. Then we get into like some newer ones down here. Then we get into turtles over here. We got the Technodrome complete for 450. We got a mix right over here. And up here we got a bunch of vintage Right there, there's a mute module. There's some vintage. So, what's a good one? A robotic foot soldier. Oh, look at Shogun Leo. Yeah. I thought that's good for 70. Check these out down here. And then we got a bunch of uh, we got some cheapskates. Big giant Leo right there, complete. Some mini figs, some merch. Pretty cool. Then we got like the main case over here. Then look over here. Neutrinos. So a definite pickup is that Micro Machines, the little can right there, I had that as a kid and always said if I saw it in the wild, I'll pick it up. They got it here for 15 bucks, so it looks like I'm getting Micro Machines today. Alright guys, so ended up getting the armored um, freaking Star Wars set. Can't believe it because uh, one, like I rarely come upon them back in Texas and then I got the uh, double horn twin horn uh, Star Wars as well and uh, got a really good deal like 80 for the for the armored playset and then 15 for twin horn which I think is a great deal now I just gotta find a freaking suitcase to get this home in then I'll show you when we get home uh, but yeah good deal ended up spending a buck here but you gotta check out Acme Superstore when uh, you're in Florida. You gotta check it out, guys. Amazing, it's huge. Have some time, because you're gonna need it. So as you guys can see, Acme Collectibles is huge. It's, it's freaking massive. I had such a hard time 
figuring out what I wanted to take home with me. But in the end, the Star Wars Armored Command Center took the cake. I had to pick up this piece. It they had it marked for $80. Obviously, this is not complete, but this thing looks fantastic. And it's my first Star Wars piece. So I'm very excited. Then I also got this twin horn Star Wars uh, robotic dinosaur. So I got these two pieces. Uh, like I said earlier, I've spent around $100. What's really funny, I was looking at this uh, armored uh, command center at Second Chance Toys, the last video. And I think that one was pretty much complete if I remember correctly. And you know they wanted definitely a little more, obviously because uh, it's complete and small and tiny pieces. That's hard to like keep all together. So I was very excited to see that armored command center set. So I picked that up, and uh, I feel good about it. I feel really good about it because it's just one of those pieces that it, it looks cool. It, it it looks great in my display. Uh, if I ever wanted to take it out and put it up on the shelf, I can open it up and it turns into the little command center. I can stage other figures that I pick up along the way to be displayed inside of it. So it's kind of a space saver in that way. I guess if you look at it like that, I'm trying to justify this purchase here, guys. But I'm really excited that I was able to pick this up at a really good deal. So guys, if you're ever in the Longwood, Florida area, really need to check out Acme. Check them out. Um, I think we were there a little over an hour and we didn't even scratch the surface. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And guys, until next time, peace.